maids don't have it easy. Having left their hometowns for a foreign country with hopes of earning a better income, they may find themselves at the mercy of unreasonable employers. Take the recent case of Nis Ningsi. The 29-year-old Indonesian was assaulted by her employer, Siti Fahana Muhammad Yaakub. Siti Fahana grabbed the maid's head and banged it against the wall and even punched her several times in the chest. It's not just employers who abuse their authority. Christina Mejia suffered in silence for four years in a household along Holland Road. There, she was bullied by her employer's mother-in-law. Last time, what kind of work do you do in the old house? Uh, look after the children, mm. uh, wash the car, mm. uh, cooking the children's food, cooking mm. also for dinner. Mm. We do gardening. Okay. Uh, we do all. We do painting, and we do also, you know, the changing the thing, the light like that. Like, yeah. We oh. we do everything. She never asked the contractor to pay or what. We do painting oh. the whole house outside. When the baby grow old, then mm. sometimes the children don't like her. Then she's not happy to me. She's thinking I'm teaching the, oh. the kids. When sometimes the, sometimes the boy is a bit naughty, so she talk, he talk bad. Then he say, you, you teach him the bad things. When, you have, when they have dinner, do you eat with them? No, we never eat. When they finish <gasps> it, then we eat. And the three of you eat? Yeah. What we eat also, but when if have leftover, then we eat. But if we don't have, we cook our own. We cook some food, la. egg, uh, noodles, something like that. Every time, same thing, egg, noodles, egg, noodles, like that. I, I try my best to work also, uh, to do that things, all that things that she want to do. But every day, she's like not happy to me. So she asked me, if you cannot stand in my house, you can go. Even I'm not your employer, she said, I can send you back in the Philippines. Eventually, Christina applied for a transfer and has been working for another household along Old Upper Thompson Road for the past two years. Christina's story may have had a happy ending, but others were less lucky. Sometimes I don't have food like that. Okay. Like, uh, they don't give you your meals? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Then my salary is not enough okay. for me, my family, not enough. Okay. Yeah, from five. Okay. When I woke up, five, I start working. But still not have been finished yet. So many. You cannot finish until uh, uh, 10 or 11. They don't give food. They don't give the food? Yes. And they give uh, like porridge. It's not enough to, especially you're working, it's not enough. To... Only morning, like when she has to help in the kitchen or evening, she's allowed to come out of that room. The employee very proudly told me, that if she has to step out of their house, she goes with us and comes back with us. So she's mm. kind of jailed to that room. Of course, many people who employ mates here recognize the importance of showing mates respect. If you have a mate, you are the boss and uh, you could do anything you want, mm -hmm. sort of, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's not the right thing to do because they are human beings. They sacrifice so much to come over and uh, we have to treat them correctly just like other human beings. Although mates have their share of woes, employers have their horror stories too. Stay tuned for the next clip.